Hello there, Runneteers. It's Manny, and uh, yes, this is might be the last time I do a video here for a couple weeks. I have a lot of stuff going on, uh, but uh, I will continue to do videos. Uh, we have uh, springtime surprise uh, registration coming up. We got announcements coming up, so uh, there's going to be theming for uh, uh, theming announcements coming soon. My prediction is going to be either this is today is Thursday, the third, August the third. My prediction is either going to be tomorrow or Monday. Well, this is why I have to travel on those days, and it usually follow uh, falls on days where I'm traveling, and then I get the notifications, and I have to like pull over to look at what's going on. But that is usually what happens. So, but in all seriousness, guys, I think by next week we will get the announcement of what the theming is going to be. But again, I would not doubt it. And this is Thursday morning. So I wouldn't doubt it if it drops this afternoon, if it drops tomorrow, or sometime next week. But I think by next Friday, for sure, we will have the theming, guys. Uh, guys, are you excited about finding out what the theming is going to be for Springtime Surprise? So today's topic is going to be very, very short. But before we do, guys, thank you guys for being who you are. Please pr uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep sharing the information. You guys have been doing a great job of doing that. Keep interacting. Keep asking questions. Uh, again, guys, this is your channel. Make it grow. Again, we have our Facebook page, which is Running Ears. Uh, guys, go there. Ask to be uh, ask to join, and so I'll give out some more information there. But guys, without further ado, we're going to get to today's topic, which is going to be a short one today. So last week I did a video about uh, guys uh, purchasing bibs online, and and so people are it, it's getting out of hand, in my opinion. Whenever I start seeing like one or two a day, to me that's out of, hand, uh, out of hand. People asking either, can I buy one? Or, hey, I'm trying to sell my bib. And again, we already know what's going on. But let's say hypothetically, Disney would say, yes, we're going to allow you guys to resell the bibs, even if it's a for, for a uh, short period of time. Uh, is this a good thing? So let's go over what would happen and why it would be a good thing. So guys, let's say you have an injury or sometimes hap uh, uh, life happens and so you sign up seven, eight, nine months in advance, then all of a sudden you say, man, I, I, you know, I got pregnant, uh, I ended up getting sick, uh, you know, uh, I lost my job, whatever it is, and then all of a sudden you can sell your bib. That would be a great thing for some people because those people would be able to sell their bibs to somebody who actually wants to go and run and it would be beneficial for Disney because uh, somebody would show up and of course when they show up that means they might be staying on property so again another hotel room gets booked and then of course they go to the expo which means they're, they, they're gonna buy merchandise uh, they're gonna go to the park so it means more income for them and of course they're gonna buy something to eat and drink so guys so it could be something that Disney would look at and say man we're gonna make a little bit more money and so and actually it could help the people that are trying to sell the bibs because they couldn't make it for whatever reason now, will this happen in a perfect world? This is great, guys, but this is not a perfect world. So I'm going to tell you now why it's never going to happen, or at least not like that. Guys, I'm going to just go in order. So think of starting with registration. If Disney were to announce, hey, you can now resell tickets, uh, you can now resell bibs, you can resell bibs starting on this date. It would only be for a week, whatever it is. But they announced that you can start selling re uh, uh, reselling bibs once you have purchased them. So now we're going to go to registration day. What's going to happen, guys, and you guys who have been registering for runs know exactly the headaches that we go through, I am I am included, uh, trying to get into the runs, trying to see if we can get a spot because they sell out so quickly and stuff. It is going to get worse because resellers are going to go in there and they're going to buy bibs. They're going to buy bibs so that they can resell them. And if Disney does anything like this and they don't control it at all, guess what, guys? Uh, people are going to pay double or triple the price uh, that they purchased uh, the bib for or the original price of the bib and so they can get in. I, the reason I say this is I, uh, and this is what m uh, prompted me to do this video, is I saw online somebody offering $750 or something like that for a bib. I, I just thought to myself, this is outrageous. This is as bad, and this is not even with a charity. This is trying to buy a bib outright. So again, charities will, you know, again, you have to do the fundraising. So it's going to be, you know, four hundred, a thousand, twelve hundred, whatever the charity wants. Uh, but again, guys, 
got this is why I say it's never going to happen is because you're going to have resellers come in. It's going to be harder to get into the races, guys. And then once it sells out, you're going to be able to find them on eBay or, or, or in the marketplace. And it's going to be double, triple, quadruple the price. Then you're, you're going to open it up to even more uh, uh, scrutiny because what's going to happen is people that are scammers are going to say, man, I can make some good money off of this. Uh, I'm going to prey on the weak. So these people are mad, badly wanting a bib. So they're going to say, well, I'll pay you know, $500 for a bib. And then that bib never comes or you never get it. And remember, people, uh, you're going to have to transfer it and so forth and so on. So it's a bigger headache than Disney would want. So I do think, and I have made a video before in the past, how Disney can do it and uh, they can keep the cost down and they can, they can control the whole thing. But guys, uh, keep it out of your heads. This is never going to happen. Uh, Disney is never going to allow the transfer or reselling of bibs. Uh, at least not, you know, out, out, you know, not done outwardly. So in other words, where they can't control anything. That's never going to happen, guys. And I'm going to reiterate what I said last time, guys. Do not try to buy a bib from somebody online. Do not try to sell a bib uh, just in case because what ends up happening is you still have to go pick up the bib. If you get caught, both of you will be banned. And that to me adds up to no good, no bueno. You do not want to do that because you will never be allowed to run in a Run Disney event again. So guys, what do you think? Do you guys uh, see that what I'm seeing? A lot more people trying to resell it? Comment down below, guys. Guys, you guys are amazing. Again, I, I'm going to be back in the next uh, next week. I should be back uh, with another topic. I really want to do charities, but man, things keep changing. Every time I think I know everything, things keep changing. But guys, uh, so this setup might be a, a little bit different. I might have to do it somewhere else just because of work. But guys, uh, continue asking questions. Continue being who you are. Guys, create a magical day. Create a magical run. And guys, see you sooner than later.